given parametric equations and a value of t, we're asked to find dy dx and then find the equation of the tangent line at the given value of t. So to find the equation of the tangent line, we'll have to find the point of tangency as well as the slope of the tangent line. We can find the point of tangency by substituting t equals one into our parametric equations and then to find the slope of the tangent line, we'll substitute t equals one into our derivative dy dx. Let's start by finding the point of tangency by substituting t equals one into the parametric equations. So again, we're given t equals one, which means the x-coordinate of the point of tangency would be x equals one to the fourth plus one. Well, one to the fourth is still one, so one plus one is equal to two. And the y-coordinate would be equal to one squared plus one, which is also two. Which means the point of tangency would be the point two comma two on the coordinate plane. And now to find the slope of the tangent line, we'll find dy dx. And because we have parametric equations, dy dx is equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. So dy dx is equal to, again, dy dt divided by dx dt. So here's y, so dy dt would be equal to two t plus one, applying the power rule of differentiation. And dx dt would be equal to four t to the third plus zero, or just four t to the third. So now to find the slope of the tangent line when t equals one, we'll evaluate dy dx when t equals one. So we'd have two times one plus one divided by four times one to the third. Well, the numerator would be three and the denominator would be four, so the slope of the tangent line is three-fourths. And now we have all the information we need to find the equation of the tangent line since we know the point of tangency and we also know the slope of the tangent line. So to find the equation of the tangent line, we'll start by using point slope form of a line or the form y minus y sub one equals m times the quantity x minus x sub one, where m is the slope, and x sub one, y sub one would be the point of tangency. Well, notice that both x sub one and y sub one are positive two, so we'd have y minus two equals m, which is three-fourths, times the quantity x minus two. Let's go ahead and put this in sloped intercept form, so we'll clear the parentheses and then solve for y. So we'll have y minus two equals three-fourths x minus three-fourths times two would be six-fourths, or three-halves. And then we'll add two to both sides, so we have y equals three-fourths x minus three-halves plus two well, negative three halves plus two is equal to positive one half. So the equation of the tangent line is y equals three fourths x plus one half. Now before we go, let's go ahead and verify this graphically. So the red graph is the plane curve defined by the parametric equations. And when t equals one, the point of tangency was the point two, two which we see here, and we found the equation of the blue tangent line to be y equals three-fourths x plus one-half. So the y-intercept is positive one-half, which we can verify here. And then using the slope, if we start at the point of tangency, because the slope is positive three-fourths, notice if we go up three units, and write four units, we find another point on the tangent line. So this does verify that our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.